Welcome back to Crypto Educator, guys. How you all doing? In this video, we'll talk about a lot of altcoins, guys. All of these altcoins were requested by our community member. So links in the description. Join the Discord server. So we'll talk about internet computer. We'll talk about Dent against USDT. Then we'll jump into Moon River, guys. This is a name that I've been hearing a lot. And then we'll talk about Hether as well. Finally, we'll end the video with Thorchain Rune. Before we jump out of the TA for the day, I want to remind all of you that all of us are pretty lucky guys all of us are able to do these things there's a side of this world where people are literally fighting for their life their family and everything that comes in your regular day-to-day -day activities people are fighting for those kind of things and guys all of us here are cryptocurrency traders we are trying to trade the price action while the world is going through such unfortunate incidents so guys all of us should have crazy amount of fucking gratitude as to whatever we're trying to do in our lives right here yes we should be full of gratitude guys that we're able to do this while a lot of people are simply struggling for their life guys with that said let's jump into internet computer right here guys the trend is to the downside the ema blue ema is your 21 EMA and this is going to be the key criteria for the rest of the video if you see the EMA being inclined to the downside you know the deal guys the overall trend is in a downtrend so expecting crazy bounces when the EMI is <laughs> when the EMA is simply inclined to the downside is something which you should refrain from right so essentially ICP is still in a big big bearish stance right here we're talking about the three day time frame we'll jump into small time frames as well guys but any which ways the first rejection came from $70 $79 the second one came from 55 the third rejection coming from 36 and the most recent rejection came from $25 flat. We are kind of in the middle of this downtrend, guys. It's a, it's a simple continuation motion in the bigger picture as a whole, right? And essentially, even if you are creating this bounce from these levels, the first and the foremost target is going to be aligning with your $24.2 regions, guys. And then once we take out this price point to the upside, that is when you'll be targeting $28 and beyond. But essentially, you are simply in a downtrend as of now, right? Now, if you jump onto the daily time frame, you do have crazy amount of bullish divergence, guys. But does that mean that you're going to be low? Longing on every single bullish divergence in the market. No, probably not. The overall context in the price action is something that everybody is overlooking upon, guys. Now, the thing is that until you are situating your price action below $22, or hell, guys, let's just consider this entire price action zone to be your big fat ejection area. Until you are trending below $24, I think jumping into a confident leveraged long exposure on internet computer is not going to be a good choice, right? If Bitcoin is able to successfully put in a higher low right around these levels in context, 30,000 regions that we tested on July, most likely internet computer will have good looking targets. Guys, this name is fucking funny, man. Internet computer. Who the fuck talks about internet computer? ICP right here. I'm going to use ICP. Anyways, guys, so ICP will have crazy upside targets. If you see Bitcoin succeeding in putting in that entire higher low you can refer to the previous video guys and then you will know what i'm talking about in the price action context as a whole but until then internet computer is in a simple downtrend let's talk about a time frame that is quite significant in the small time frames right here it's your four hour and kind of grinding against the 200 simple moving average means that maybe if you do resolve this one you will have those 10 to 12 percent bullish moves in the market for icp itself probably guys if you clear the four hour 200 simple moving average most likely you will head on the way towards your first target sitting in at your 22 dollar regions and and the ultimate target coming at your rejection highs at almost $25 regions. It's a pretty rounded figure, guys. So whatever happens on $25 regions is something which will be telling, which is going to be telling you a lot of things in the price action context as a whole. And until we are holding 18.7 regions to the upside, most likely your trend will continue, guys. Most likely your uptrend will continue. But watch for Bitcoin and Ethereum as well alongside. Key risk management below 18.75, but the ultimate target at $24 flat. With that said, guys, let's jump on to another bearish asset that is not that bearish honestly but well guys every single moving average that is telling us about the price action momentum is inclined to the downside that brings me on to a very clear point right here if we are kind of resolving this entire squeeze grind resolution to the upside essentially if you're taking out this entire falling wedge to the upside you're going to be rolling all the way towards 0.48 cents guys that is going to be your upside target this price action kind of resembles Thor chain. Although fundamentally, guys, both of these blockchains are completely different. The thing is, we are still in a downtrend, unfortunately. Three-day time frame is still in a downtrend. The RSI is still situated below the exponential. The first thing you want to see if you want to go for any reversal trade in the market is the fact that the relative strength index is supposed to be stronger, guys. Stronger than what we are looking at right now. So expecting crazy bounces coming from these levels in the immediate small time frame is not going to work out. It's essentially not going to work out altogether. Once you situate your daily trends above 0.28 cents, 
that is most likely when you'll be at least initiating your move all the way towards the 200 simple moving average remember we are still in the context of the higher time frame we are talking about three day time frame on dent against usd which is why guys we're talking about bigger moves right you can't really plan your big moves and 80 percent swings or 100 percent swings in the market looking at something which is less than four hour in the time frame guys so essentially all these small time frames like the daily or the 12 hour or the four hour time frame is going to be telling you how to manage your risk but most likely you will be forgetting the bigger picture if you dig yourself deep into the small time frames altogether so for a little change right here the three day time frame and the four hour time frame and the 12 hour time frame are telling the same thing essentially we are still in the process of finding a bottom for dent once you do find in a bottom once you do take out this level or this level to the upside that is when you can target your upswing guys i hope that was helpful volatile things can play out for dent against us dollar as a whole so be cautious if you're not able to handle price action movements that are greater than 10 percent be very cautious in trading dent against usdt with that said let's talk about moon river guys three day is trying to set in a bullish divergence coming from this exact price point but is it confirmed guys the thing is that we just got rejected from this entire price point right on the three day time frame so until you're closing three day candles above 75 or holy crap moon river is worth 75 usd <laughs> And that's crazy anyways so until you are trending below 75 dollar regions on a three-day trending basis most likely you will be rejected guys most likely you'll face a lot of rejection as you simply try to proceed to the upside let's just say that we are able to clear 75 regions to the upside on a three-day closing basis the ultimate target for this run is going to be towards the 21 exponential guys that's going to be towards your 110 dollar regions so that's let's just say that's a good looking trade that you do have in your hands it's a 40 percent up move that you can capitalize on but planning this one is going to be a little difficult guys because well oh well look at this steep fucking downtrend we should never forget the context of the price action altogether guys the context right here is fucking shit it's 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 completely bearish guys holy crap if i get it off the logarithmic charts you can see how the bubble got fucking burst in the market right so you're simply in a downtrend you're continuing your downtrend with all the strength you have coming from the sellers in the market so what do you want from moon river you want a trend establishment above the 21 exponential at first then you can expect exponential trends to the upside so you want a trend establishment above 105 if you do that yes you can plan on some greater looking trends coming on all the way towards these breakdown points that is going to be at 170 and the next one is going to be at 230 guys but talking about these price points coming from these levels is a far-fetched opinion so everything has to happen step by step let's talk about a little retracement level as well now we are simply assuming that this is the fucking bottom but i don't think that this is going to be the bottom as of now there is no context to the bottom guys but anyways the 261 extension is almost aligning with 170 regions the 382 extension is almost aligning with with your two twenty dollar regions so yep you know the upside targets if we do reverse from these levels guys remember the higher likelihood of playing out this up leg is going to be coming into fruition if ethereum and bitcoin are successfully setting in this higher low altogether right with that said guys do we have to talk about those small time frames on moon river right here probably not it's just horrendous piece of price action on the small time frames this is something which i would simply refrain from trading although i'm going to give a little benefit of doubt because the 200 simple moving average is trying to slope to the upside it might take some time most likely you will have a little more confidence guys but until then this remains to be a shit looking trend to the downside it's a perpetual downtrend guys okay with that said let's talk about hether hether is looking nice i mean this is this is trying to do something which moon river is supposed to do right and to set in higher lows guys in context to bitcoin and ethereum as well but is it confirmed right here right now nope 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 still not confirmed most likely you will confirm your uptrend once you take out this price point to the upside so essentially you want hether to trend above 80 cents altogether because until you're below this price point yes you are in a simple context of a downtrend of a downtrending motion altogether with a bearish trust between the 55 and the 21 exponential moving average altogether so yes it's a continuation downtrend as of now we did obliterate this level right here so yes most likely it's going to be continuing the downtrend no bullish divergence coming on the three day time frame if you jump on the daily is there any bullish yes guys yes you are trying to do that but getting rejected by the 21 exponential on the daily is not really a sign of health altogether right it's a sign of weakness but the daily has a good looking bullish divergence come from these levels although it's not confirmed but most likely you will be sneaky enough to put in a higher low guys most likely this is what it will do because the overall context is looking fine right overall context is looking fine this one is running according to bitcoin guys so whatever bitcoin does in the market most likely the price action trends and the structure are going to be aligning with hether's price action against us dollar as well i'll jump on a four hour time frame yes you're still below the 200 simple on the four hour so there is no immediate small time frame reversal happening on the price action because you're below the 200 simple moving average of the four hour expecting crazy exponential moves is going to be uh, well disappointing honestly 
But guys, all it takes is a lot of patience, right? Because let's just say that you are simply trying to pinpoint these tops and bottoms every single day. You'll end up exhausting yourself. You'll end up having a lot of decision-making fatigue altogether, guys. And well, oh well, when the asset will actually go for that 300% like to the upside, you'll be so exhausted that you'll simply miss out on that entire like to the upside. With that said, guys, I think this video is fucking long, but let's talk about the last candidate for the day. Sword Chain, looking amazing. As of now, looking amazing. Setting in a bullish engulfing candle, obliterating every single short position all the way towards $6 regions, guys. This is a good looking price action right here. This kind of reminds me of something which was happening on Sword Chain back on the last week of July itself, guys, because this resolution came in pretty strong and to the price action all the way towards your two key retracement price points you went all the way towards the three to extension but the entire trend kind of extended all the way towards the deep retracement points at 886 so that was a good looking trend to capitalize on which was your 400 percent move to the upside that is just madness that is that, that is simply absurd guys now the thing is that we are kind of dealing with an overall bearish outlook in the market so expecting 400 percent moves is going to be a little difficult right altogether right but the thing is judging by the bullish engulfing candle and judging by this entire trend kind of resolving itself to the upside, we have a falling wedge that is resolving, guys. So, yes, you can expect a retest of 3 to extension coming from this entire bearish leg. That is your $8.5 regions, guys. Holy crap. That is good looking upside targets for Thorchain itself. Although, again, back again, you want to be cautious about Thorchain going below $5, guys. If you see Thorchain trending below $5 on a 3 to trend basis, most likely all those wet dreams about $8.5 regions is probably going to take a while. It's going to be very very choppy right but until you are above five dollars guys hell we can extend this one all the way towards the previous candle closure at 4.85 regions so until you're above 4.85 you're going to be continuing this bullish leg all the way towards the three two extension and if you are lucky enough and if ethereum and bitcoin are also in a bullish trending environment altogether you'll be targeting the deep retracement points at 14.5 guys but everything has to happen step by step proceed in these markets with plans so with that said i think i'm going to be winding up this video right here right now if it was helpful to you, hit that like button, subscribe and share as well with your Thor Chain friends altogether. I'm going to be catching all of you pretty soon. Bye for now.